Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, I'm going to be doing a tutorial guide for D Dead by Daylight. So, I'm not going to make any, like, action or, like, like, act, like in a game or whatever. I'm just going to tell you about it, but then I will. So, yeah. Um, I'll just tell you about the game. So, basically, you can level up your, um, survivor. I'm level 25, but the highest is level 50. And... I mean, I could get higher level up, but I don't want it right now. And this is what you use to, like, level up your character to get perks. It's called Blood Points. They are free, by the way. You just gotta play good in a match. And you can get these, too, kind of, like, free. But, well, they're not really free, but then they kind of are free. Like, it takes a while to get them. They're not cheap. And these are, like, these are basically the ones that cost money. It's called the Oryx Cell, so you can buy it in the store down here. You can customize your character. The Blood Webs, which is, like, the... What points? Mm. And then a loadout. I'll tell you that soon. Survivors. And yeah. Um. You see, they don't usually have this. This is the lobby right here. But you know, this is lun lunar year, or whatever. You can call it Chinese New Year, or whatever. Uh, the year of the ox, by the way. I think. Um. Is that right there? It's kind of cool stuff. And yeah, and then you can also invite your friends right there, which I'm not going to right now because I want to tell you, but yeah, you could do that and show you my loadout. So this is all the stuff you need. These are all the perks right here. You can also add offerings, which can take you to different maps, but I'll tell you that soon. And then these are the inventory things. You can use the first aid kit, which like heals you if you get hit. And I've, uh... A flashlight which blinds the killer for eight seconds, which is pretty good. And then the toolbox which sort of repairs a generator, which I'll tell you that soon. And then there's also a skeleton key which tells helps you do a hatch, open up a hatch. And yeah. Okay. I'm gonna tell you the main objective of how to win the game. So if you're a survivor, you gotta complete five generators, and the toolbox is kinda helpful because then it makes it quicker to complete but at the same time. You don't really need to carry it, but yeah. And you complete five gens, and then you could either open up the escape door, and then you escape, but it's not too bad. And then, you just need all your teammates to help you and stuff. And, there's basically five people total in the match, one killer, four survivors, so you all want to help each other. If you get, yeah, if you get hit two times and you're dead, well, unless they have a super special perk, then they can kill you in one hit, but it's not too much most of the time it's not. And, yeah, um, well... And the, yeah, and then uh, you can also find the hatch, which is the skeleton keys for. And if it's locked, then you use the skeleton key stuff to open up. It looks like a big square under the ground. And then this, uh, okay, this is the main objective for the killer. You gotta put the survivor on the hook three times. And if they're on their third time, then they're dead. If they're on their second time, then they need to struggle. And they gotta keep pressing, like, whatever button you need to press, like... Uh, for PC, it's like uh, a space bar. If you misclick, then you're dead. And then first time, you could try to escape, but I mean, you kind of waste, kind of would be bad. So just let your teammate get you out of the hook. And then, yeah, that's the main objective for the killers. You wanna put them on the hooks and stuff. And yeah, it's like each survivor and killer has their own like special perk and stuff. So yeah, and then there's also treasure chests, like, well, I guess they're all they're called chests, but, like, they give you, like, uh, loadout stuff, too, if you don't want to carry. You can, you don't have to carry, you see, my hand's not carrying anything, because I don't want to. But you could carry, like, a first aid kit or anything, but if you find one, then you could keep that and use it. But, did you know, that here's the risky thing, I mean, I mean, it's not super bad, because you get them either way. If you get a, if you have, like, a special, um, how do I say it, not, like, kind of like a perk but not like no not a perk like a loadout inventory type of item like a flashlight if you use it and if you lose the game then you lose it which sucks but if you win then you keep it so so i would recommend using like a common one unless you unless you think you'll do good then use a legend well they're very rare but i don't know if you really, really want to do that stuff and yeah and there's also these totem things that like looks like a skull and you open them up and like it kind of shows where like the, the shows like get the killer where you're at but like gives you like a blood points and stuff it's pretty good and yeah these are basically just the reasons like all the stuff for the game i'll show you guys soon but right now i'm not going to i just wanted to give you a tutorial guide about it but 
I'll make some gameplay maybe soon. And yeah. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Yeah. I'll see y'all later. I'm out. Peace.